low. It confuses their tracking. I'm going low. Good. Okay, whoa. She gets real low. Real low, like the touch and sand. <laughs> I mean, okay, she so literally why? touched sand. She really uh, kicked up the dust, right? Yeah. Um, but why? Like, why does getting low make the TIE fighters targeting worse? So, as far as I understand, with modern military radar, airborne radar, okay. if you're high and the aircraft is low, you got to look down. Aircraft meaning like your target, the target low. Tar so yeah, there's okay. an aircraft high. You're you're trying to detect an aircraft low. Okay. If the aircraft's high, you can bounce radar off of it. Okay. And the surrounded by sky, so that all the radar waves go far away. Ah, if, so you're saying that the only only the the only stuff that is bounced back to you must have hit the plane because there's nothing else around it. Exactly. But if you're I looking see. down, look down radar, right? You're going to send radio radar out. It's going to bounce back off the plane, yes, but it's going to bounce back around off the ground as well. Of, uh, I see. And so that's I guess they call that they call that clutter. Sure. So there's clutter around. So one of the, the adva one of the things they do is they use Doppler effects on the bounce back radar because the ground is stationary but the plane is moving. Okay. But it's still more difficult than looking up. Than just having down. nothing else around it. Yeah. So there are ways around it, as far as I understand, in modern radar. But mm -hmm. it is more tricky. It is better to be near the ground. And I guess if you have a stationary station on the ground, being close to the ground, the stationary station just can't look along the ground. Low enough. I see. Um just because there's horizon issues as well, because the Earth Trees is round. I see what you're saying, yeah. yeah. But hmm. I'm surprised that a TIE fighter would use a radar system for tracking. Do they use radar, modern-type radar for tracking? Yeah, this is the question I had. I Because it's mm -hmm. totally speculative at my end. Maybe if we check Wikipedia, they have some explanations about what the TIE fighters do. That's, that's um, but true. but um, yeah, I, that was that was similar to what my guess was, but I had no idea if they would use radar. Um, at least their tracking systems behave like radar. Yeah, maybe it's a universal problem. Like even with really advanced tracking, mm. it's just the ground is there mucking up the works. I and see. it's just no matter how advanced you get, that's just an unovercomable problem. There's just other things to target. Other things but I guess target. if you so if you did like a thermal vision, then you'd have like the heat from the engines versus the warm of the sand. Like that would get mm. around it. So I guess you want like a combined. Yes. Yeah. So you do all the wavelengths, and because the engine is spewing IR, you could be like, "There it is." Couple that with radar. Couple that with with all the other wavelengths. Maybe you can get a picture. Right. With some probability pro mixing for some weighing for like mm -hmm. like the the radar is very important or the thermal is very important and it's probably going to be yeah yeah. So I guess it's still advantageous to get close to the ground. Because it's still sure. a messier signal no matter what. Yeah. The worst thing you do is fly up in the sky and then the TIE fighter is like, there. Yeah. <laughs> You're, there's yeah. nothing else. Yeah. I guess if you flow, flew close to the sun, you know, you got, if you got the enemy aircraft and you fly in between the sun mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the radar and the aircraft, that could cause problems. That would definitely but mess like, up their optical, yeah. But I mean, if you have multi, how are you going to keep, keep that? Keep in line with that. That's not going to happen. You just right? always have to fly towards the sun. <laughs> when you get a turn, like just nope, just fly towards yeah. the sun. It has to be relative to the aircraft as well, and you can't have multiple. That's right, because as soon as two tie fighters split apart, now you can't be directly in line with the yeah. sun for both of them. So again, that's still get close to the ground. Yeah. Okay. okay. I like it. Okay. Okay. I guess there's additional additional statement of if you're very high in the air you have a very high gravitational potential energy so when you get low you can get fast and then there's just an additional difficulty that yeah. the TIE fighters need to track something fast 